Good afternoon, everybody. This is Reno with 1111 Revelation. And um, I just wanted to say a quick prayer before I get started. Father God, thank you for this day. We ask in Jesus' name and through his blood that all people at this time come to you. All the lost would come to you. Father God, I pray that all the lost would now, I'm talking, we are down to like a minusque, very small amount of time left, guys. Last night, the Holy Spirit came and like, the, the, listen, the way that I know when, when the Holy Spirit is speaking to me, and it's not me, okay, because I don't hear some audio or audible out loud voice, okay, the way I know it's the Holy Spirit is it's very sudden. It's something that blows me out of like every time okay it blows my mind and it was so simple last night okay what the Holy Spirit said and that he said he's coming soon and so I was like this is Jesus Jesus is telling me this and immediately he took me to two videos and um, the timeline was revealed more to me about the timeline okay so we are very very low on time guys just take a look around you take a look around you it is so obvious if anybody is new here and just happened to come across this channel I pray that you would receive Jesus into your heart and understand that he shed his blood on the cross for you by yourself each and every single individual person he died for each of us and um, you know all you need to do and this is a heart thing it's a condition of the heart you have to let go of any kind of resentment anger let it all go forgive every single person admit you're a sinner in need of a savior and B believe with all your mind heart and soul and C confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and call upon his name. He is worthy to be praised over and over. D, deliverance demonstrated once you receive the fire in the spirit when he comes down on you and it's given to you after you're born again, become born again. Out of this world and birthed back into the kingdom of God, okay? So I am going to read because my channel has always been about the Holy Spirit told me a long time ago, it took me two years to even manifest to do this channel, but he told me a long time ago that I would be reading just simply his word, that I was to read his word, to stick straight to his word. He told me to read this book as well, the book of Enoch. This book right here, just the first book, not the second or the third, but the first book of Enoch. The first book of Enoch is very important, and it's very critical that you read it to understand. <laughs> it's one of the, the best books ever. And you know that they took the book, the book of Enoch, out of the Bible. The, the book of Enoch, Jesus quotes it over 14 times at least, for sure, okay? I mean... I don't know what else I can do to to like just express how important the book of Enoch is in order to understand these times these end times that we're living in but I am going to read because he this is from a couple of days ago and I was like looking over all this stuff yesterday and it was just incredible to me um, Isaiah is one of my favorite books and it's like once you start reading these books you see the similarities and it's like all the prophets all had the Holy Spirit and it's so amazing okay so I'm gonna read this and um, I want you all to listen and it's chapter 51 of Isaiah hearken to me ye that follow after righteousness ye that seek the Lord look unto the rock whence ye are hewn and to the hole of the pit Whence ye are digged, look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarah that bore you. For I called him alone, and blessed him, and increased him. For the Lord shall comfort Zion. He will comfort all her waste places, 
and he will make her wilderness like Eden and her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be therein, thanksgiving and the voice of melody. Hearken unto me, my people, and give ear unto me, O my nation, for a law shall proceed from me, and I will make my judgment to rest for a light of the people. My righteousness is near, my salvation is gone forth, and mine arms shall judge the people. The isles shall wait upon me, and on mine arms shall they trust. Lift up your eyes to the heavens and look upon the earth beneath, for the heavens shall vanish away like smoke, and the earth shall wax old like a garment, and they that dwell therein shall die in like manner. But my salvation shall be forever, and my righteousness shall not be abolished. Hearken unto me, ye that know righteousness, righteousness, the people in whose heart is my law. Fear ye not the rep reproach of men, neither be ye afraid of the revelings. For the moth shall eat them up like a garment, and the worm shall eat them like wool. But my righteousness shall be forever, and my salvation from generation to generation. Awake, awake! Put on strength, O arm of the Lord. Awake as in the ancient days. People, wake up. Wake up. It's time. We're ready. We're ready. We're like on the ark. Everybody that is ready, we are almost out of here, you guys. And that is a for sure plus. There's no, not much more delay. Just listen. As in the ancient days, in the generations of old, are thou not in that hath cut Rahab and wounded the dragon? Are thou not it, art thou not it which hath dried the sea, the waters of the great deep that have made the depths of the sea away for the ransomed to pass over? Father God, thank you for this day. Holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one and all evil in the great tribulation to come. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever and ever. Amen. And I've already prayed up over this entire air atmosphere and airspace, you guys. Um, it's a beautiful day where I'm at. Listen to me. It's time to get right with Jesus and get tight with Jesus. He loves you so much. There is no more time. You guys, you guys need to be put on a, a put on the your joyful singing. Sing, because it's time, and we are out of it. Pretty soon we won't be trapped in time anymore. So, okay, I'm going to read one more thing that's just like mind-blowing to me, but all of it is. It's so beautiful. The Bible is amazing to me. Thank you, Father God, for preserving the truth here on the earth and always making sure that there were good men that we're here and that that we're obedient. Yes, okay, so I'm gonna read 42 real quick because this is absolutely amazing once again. And please, you guys, if anybody has any prayers or any questions about getting saved, I can answer your questions. I can pray for you, whatever it is. There's nothing that's too big that the Lord cannot handle. And he can take care of the problems, your worries, do not fear, stay on that narrow path. I'm just here to help, to bring people in, to get people saved. I don't know exactly why I was given this job, but this is my job. And I am on Team Jesus, and I am on the, the prayer team for, for heaven's sakes, 
for heaven, okay? So please, if you have a prayer, I will be praying for you. And um, let's just get to this real quick, okay, guys? I just want to read for you real fast. Okay, behold my servant whom I uphold, mine elect, and whom my soul delighteth. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles, talking about Jesus. He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed shall, be not, shall he not break. And the smoking flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. He shall not fail nor be discouraged till he, till he have set judgment in the earth. And the isles shall wait for his law. Thus saith God the Lord, he that created the heavens and stretched them out. He that spread forth the earth and that which cometh out of it. He that giveth breath unto the people upon it, and the Spirit to them, that which walk therein. Like walking in the Spirit, you guys. Hallelujah. <laughs> I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness, and will keep hold thine hand, and will keep thee and give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles, to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison, which is the suit you're wearing, okay? You are like in a prison suit, a biological suit. It's like a biological space suit, really, to be honest, that can handle the elements of where we're at, okay? So you still have your spark is inside you, God. Put that in there. That's where you came across the waters. Uh, it's actually in Isaiah. It talks about it. It's really amazing. How God is with us from the very moment that we actually enter into our mother's womb, which is also called the matrix when you look it up in the Strong's Concordance. So it's it's so amazing. But I know that I'm like pausing and reflecting on my own thoughts occasionally, you guys, but it just absolutely blows my mind how absolutely wonderful and amazing and holy and true our Adunai, our El Shaddai, Elyon, Yehovi. He is so amazing. Thank you, Emmanuel. Jesus. Oh, I had to stop myself for a second because I'm just getting, I'm getting very excited. It's time to go home, guys. Just listen. To open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison, and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Sing unto the Lord a new song, and his praise from the end of the earth. Ye that go down to the sea, and all that is therein, the isles, and, in the, and the inhabitants thereof, let the wilderness and the cities thereof lift up their voice, the villages that Kedar doth inhabit. Let the inhabitants of the rocks sing. Let them shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory unto the Lord and declare his praise in the islands. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, roar. It sounds like Psalm 18. I love this. He shall cry. No, he shall not cry. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrained my say myself. Now will I cry like a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. I will make waste mountains and hills and dry up all their herbs. And I will make the rivers islands and I will dry up the pools. And I will bring the blind by a way that they knew not. I will lead them in the paths that they have not known. I will make darkness light before them and crooked things straight. Hallelujah. It talks about this throughout the whole Bible. These things will I do unto them and not forsake them. It's the straight way, the narrow path. Hallelujah. They shall be turned back. They shall be greatly ashamed that trust in graven images. 
that say to the molten images, ye are our gods. I mean, really, what idiots. I don't understand it myself. Hear ye deaf, and look ye blind, that ye may see. Who is blind but my servant, or deaf is my messenger that I sent? Who is blind as he that is perfect and blind as the Lord's servant, seeing many things? But thou observest not, opening the ears, but he heareth not. The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness' sake. He will magnify the law and make it honorable. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes, and they are hid in prison houses. See what I'm saying, you guys? Your body is your prison. It's not about anything but that. Your body is your prison. They are for a prey, and none delivereth for a spoil, and none saith restore. Who among you will give ear to this? Who will hearken and hear for the time to come? Who gave Jacob for a spoil, and Israel to the robbers? Did not the Lord, he against whom we have sinned? For they would not walk in his ways, neither were they obedient unto his law. Therefore he hath poured upon him his the fury of his anger, and the strength of the battle, the, I'm sorry, and the strength of battle, and it has set him on fire round about, yet he knew not, and it burned him, yet he laid it not to heart. But now, this is 43. This is just beautiful too, 43, but I think I'm going to do this on the next one because we're already getting a little too lengthy, guys. And I know that everybody has things to do, places to go, people to see. Just remember one person, if you run into when you're out, that one person that you speak to about Jesus, it's everything. It means the world. One person even just means the world to Jesus, okay? Anybody that you can, anybody that you can speak to about Jesus. And it is hard. I understand how hard it is because even right now there's a backlashing of Christians that are like arguing about really what the what time we're in you guys and you all that come here know that we are so close to the rapture the harpazo of the church so just listen I love you all let me give you guys all a hug because this is like just a great day and I'm feeling really wonderful and blessed. You guys, the last couple of weeks, I've been so tired and working and just completely drained for some reason. I'm feeling tired all the time, but I have bounced back. And especially the one thing, anybody else out there, tell me if you feel like this. I feel more like a child. I'm 54. And my, I feel like a little kid. I'm like turning into a child. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I know that's crazy, but does anybody else have this thing going on? If you do, please let me know because I feel like I'm getting younger and younger and that is so weird to me. That is really crazy. I know that it happens to older, older people. Like once they get up there and they start going through dementia, I know I'm not, I don't have dementia, but I just know that the Lord is about to come, and so it's making me feel like a child. So let your childlike faith is amazing. Keep your Get your faith increased and come to the Lord. He loves you. He wants you to come to Him in prayer and supplication and just spend as much time as you possibly can with Him because He loves you and He wants you to be with Him. Okay, so I love you guys. All blessings and honor and glory and power unto our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is our King and our God, and He created each and every single one of you. So, hallelujah. I love you guys, and have a great day. Bye.